to fall. Kathmandu. No kidding, Kathmandu. I went on a vacation recently as well, unfortunately not to Australia, but I went to another beautiful place. It was a place called Kathmandu. I kid you not, this man told me before he's actually from Nepal. Is that and that's true? Yes. And I actually did go to Kathmandu and I went to this shop and they had these bowls. They called them Tibetan healing bowls. Sis from LA, I'm from Nepal. You're from Nepal? Kathmandu. No kidding, Kathmandu. Nepal. Visit Nepal 2020. Yes, sir. So, yeah, we are going I've on this. I've been to Nepal, Kathmandu. Oh, really? Oh, awesome. Um, Good. In, uh, up to, I can't remember the name, the uh, mountain town. Um, Pokhara. 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 And actually, I have a trick on my show from Nepal. I kid you not. I'm not even kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. Yeah, cool. I love this. this yes. Oh, there you go. I, I call my Tibetan wishing bowl. Yeah, wishing bowl. call it a Tibetan healing bowl. Healing bowl. Yeah. Healing bowl. So you I got... saw a guy in the fall take this bowl and put it over someone's head. He rung it to give him health. Actually. Yeah. So anyway, we're trying to do that. Welcome to the show. We're going to start the magic show here in four minutes. The magic show is about to begin in four minutes. So please join us. We have the splash zone available. It's right here in the front. I promise you'll get pets. Who wants to go see the seals when you can see a magic show? I'm much better than the seals, don't you think? But there are seals, you can see them that for They'll be there, believe me. They're there all night. They're very disgusting. In fact, I was I was out there looking at the seals earlier and I saw one painted completely blue. Yeah, it was like a blue man group thing or something. I don't get it. Oh wait. No, no. Oh no, that was not what it was. No. Oh no, I know. It was one of those Navy SEALs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> those are the jokes, by the way, guys. So if you're here for the show, you should expect more of that coming in a couple minutes. We're going to start the magic show here in three minutes. I'm all the way from Chicago. We're going to draw an audience for Let's see if they're hiding back here. Yes, there they are. They're going to come around the back and join us here in the magic show here in three minutes. We're going to start the whole thing off. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to get a little audience drawn here. The seats are completely free. So um, the seats here in the second row. Impossible. 
Yes. It is something that could not be inside the envelope, but yet it is. I know, right? He said, wow! I didn't even do anything yet. You're already saying, wow. This is going to be an easy show. I love it. <laughs> no, it could be anything, right? It's a simple U.S. standard post office mailing envelope made of propylene. It could, in fact, be containing anything, but what it does contain, you will not believe. It's impossible. And do you know how you know it is impossible? Because of the giant question mark on the front. Yes. It proves it's impossible. Are you waving? Oh, you're waving. So, is there something back there? You're okay. This is okay. I thought you hit the stink. So maybe it's okay. If it stinks, you don't have to watch it. It's totally fine. Welcome to the show. Do you know what's inside here, sir? You know what's inside this envelope? Yes. You can guess. Yes. I don't know if you can guess because it's actually not possible to be inside. But I'll give you a hint. It is inside. Here it is. It's a piece of paper. But printed on the paper is what is impossible. It's a printed photograph. And it's a printed photograph of you. Yes, you. Would you please stand up? Please stand up and please join me here. Let's give him a big yeah. round of applause. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Oh. This is going to be a lot of fun. I promise don't worry. It's going to be complete fun and games from all the way up to the middle of the stage. It's your show now. All right, we're in the middle. Hello, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Hello, what is your name? Sonny. Sonny, very cool name. Sonny, my name is Patrick. Magician from Chicago and Sunny. When I said that printed on this photograph is a printed photograph of you, did you believe me? Uh, yes, he believes me because I am a magician, was his rationale, which is not correct because I get paid to lie. You should not believe me. Yes, I get paid to lie. It's my job, but don't worry, Sunny. We're going to show Sunny right now that I, uh, we have never met before, have we, Sunny? That looks so suspicious, by the way. That looks so suspicious. You, the way you said that was super suspicious. We really haven't met, though, right? No. We no. Have not. no, we. That's like the reverse. We haven't met. Okay, now you're getting really weird about it. Sonny, if, if it actually is a picture of you, would you be amazed? Yeah. And, so, really and so would I at this point. I'll check. And yes, it is. Thank you very much, everyone. It is. I checked. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Sonny, you want to see it? No, believe it, guys. Oh wow, Sonny, Sonny, when I wrote when I wrote the script for this show, I don't remember giving you so many lines, but it's okay. <laughs> Sonny, we're gonna show you right now. There is a printed photograph of a guy at the Sonny, here it is. It's a printed photograph of Sonny. At age two. <laughs> That's yes, funny. Yes, you were gonna kill me, yes! Uh, how'd you get that? I know, right? It's weird. It's weird that I have a baby headshot of you, I know. But two. To prove this is real, what you guys don't know is that when Sonny was a baby, he was a childhood celebrity. Yes, on television, on a television show. They don't know that about you because it was a long time ago. Sonny, when you were a baby, you had these headshots printed out, and he would go around the streets of LA, you're from LA, and uh, he, people would ask him for his autograph. Like, Sonny, could I have your autograph, please, please? Could I have it? Yes, I'm gonna a big autograph so everyone can read it. Sonny. Right. That's pretty good. That's star quality, ladies and gentlemen. That is a star quality autograph. It's a childhood celebrity, ladies and gentlemen. Sonny, do so you want to have a seat here? Okay, you can face the audience. Let's do you little out. you having fun? Yeah. Completely fun. You're part of the show. You're part of the fun. Sonny, Sonny, you've now signed this photograph of yourself. And that means that now anything that happens to the photograph will happen to you. <laughs> yes, I know, it's kind of scary, but don't be worried, don't be worried. You guys can grab a seat, guys, grab the seat right here in the middle. Sonny, don't be worried, because I'm going to guide you through this completely. Okay, all you need to do now is please just close your eyes, okay? Sleep. Are they really closed? Are they, are they really closed? Just close them very tight. Keep, keep them closed tight. Now, Sonny. A moment ago, did you feel tapping on your shoulder? Did you feel that, Sonny? Yes. Louder? Yes. Sonny? Yes. How many times did you feel that tapping? Two times. Sonny, open your eyes. But you did look at me. Sonny, but you didn't see, but they all saw it. I didn't actually tap you. I tapped the photograph. Oh my god. I know, it's kind of scary. <laughs> Don't be worried, though. No. Some people in the audience do not believe us, Sonny. They believe that this is not really happening, but I want to prove it by blindfolding you. Is that okay if we blindfold you? Yes, you're way too easy to... Okay, that's so good. It's almost like you've done this before, Sonny. You're very good. Keep, stay right here. 
Stay here, please, and I'm going to blindfold you with a very simple blindfold. It's actually quite large to make sure you cannot peek below or above the blindfold to really make sure that your sight is obscured for this next part of the trick. Now, Sunny, can you see through the blindfold? A little bit. Okay, well, where, where do you see through? Let's go. Oh, okay, go. Now, now can you see through it? No, I cannot. Perfect. I'll take the pen back. You can take your hands off, place them on your lap like this. Take them right there. Now keep them there. Sorry. Don't move a muscle. Um, someone here in the audience, how about Sir right here in the front with the sunglasses? Please uh, hold up your hand for me in a closed fist like that. And would you please hold up any number of fingers between one and five? Go ahead and do that now for us. Everyone watch. Can everyone see the number of fingers she's holding up? Show it around, sir. Watch closely. Now, Sonny, did you feel the tapping that time? Yes or no? Yes. Louder. Yes. Sonny, yes. how many times did you feel it? Say it loud. Four times. That is really weird. Sir, put your hand down. It's getting too creepy. It's even getting too creepy. Wait, Sonny, are you okay over here? No. Are you a psychic? No. No? Okay, that's good. That's good. You didn't sound too sure about that, but Sunny, it's okay, because now the part uh, begins where we go beyond the mental magic, and we go on to the physical magic. Sunny, you should be worried now. Sunny, we're going to try something here that's a little bit dangerous, but all you need to do is do not move a muscle, okay? It's very dangerous for you, for me, and it's completely safe. Okay, I'm all for it. Here we go, Sunny. Once again, way too easy, Sunny. Here we go. Stay right there. I'm going to try something right now. You're going to feel this a little bit down the middle. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow. Uh, Sonny, are you feeling nauseous by chance? Uh, just a little bit. A little nauseous. That's good. Um, are you feeling now maybe... Are you feeling some sort of... Upset stomach, maybe? Upset stomach? No. None? Okay. No, I'll keep on going then. Don't worry. We'll keep on going until you feel it. Here we go. Ah, uh, no. uh, are you feeling uh, heartburn or indigestion? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, good. He, he felt a little bit of nausea, upset stomach, heartburn, indigestion. Diarrhea? Pepto-bismol. That's right, Pepto-bismol. <laughs> We're going to take it like this, Sonny. And you, what you should be feeling right now is a little bit of tearing your insides, your intestines, your stomach lining. Things are tearing up inside of you. You may feel it, but if you don't feel it, I really want to make sure you feel this all the way. And sometimes just to give it a little bit of extra, I can go a step further here. Stay right there. I'm going to give this a little bit of extra. I have an idea. Uh, stay right there. Number, please. This is actually very dangerous. Please stay. Sonny, lift up your left hand and show them your palm. This is getting a little bit too dangerous for me. Uh, what I thought he would do, though, I thought that as we tore the photograph to pieces, I thought he would feel like a like a person being sawed in half, up and down, all around. But Sonny, did you feel that part? Did you feel the tearing and the ripping inside? Oh, yes. You did? <laughs> That's very weird because I thought we did a good job of it all, and then and I looked a little closer here and I realized that luckily for Sonny, that part wasn't real. That part was all just an illusion. The photograph is completely in one piece with his eyes. Wow. For Sonny. Sonny, this is your photograph of the souvenir you may have as a gift to have a seat. Thank you. Give Sonny a big round of applause! Thank you, Sonny. Thank you, Sonny. You're a great sport. Thanks for helping out. You did a great job. And, um, okay, and you're his, you're his friend back here? Canada, Canada didn't like it, came down here. Very nice, very nice. Good choice. Good choice. And who else is on vacation today? Anyone else on vacation? You're from LA? Yeah, you said from LA and, oh, and uh, Australia, LA. Oh, you know, I used to have an assistant in my show, and I would bring her out at this point, and I would, uh, she would lay down on this beautiful wooden table, and I would bring out a giant buzzsaw, and then saw her in half. And uh, I don't do that one anymore. No. She, she quit. Yeah. But now she's living in LA and Australia. Yeah, it's very nice. You don't get the joke. I'll explain that to you. I'm going to put a hat down. This hat's completely empty now. But if you have a 5 or a $10 bill, I don't get paid to do this, which is crazy. But I keep this hat on at the end. You want to put some money inside? That would be a fantastic thing for everyone. I went on a vacation recently as well. Unfortunately, not to Australia. But I went to another beautiful place. 
to a place called Katmandu. I kid you not, this man told me before he's actually from Nepal. Is that that's true? Yes. And I actually did go to Katmandu, and I went to this shop, and they had these bowls. They called them Tibetan healing bowls. Now, the shopkeeper told me that you could wish for whatever you wanted, and the bowl would become full of that thing. I mean, what was you wish for? Right? You could wish for a bowl full of gold coins, or maybe even a blank check. You could wish for world peace, anything. And he asked me what I would wish for. And I told him, I wish for a margarita because I was on vacation. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. But he then told me he would do that. He would actually make the bowl become full of a margarita. He gave it a ring like this. became full of a margarita. But not before we played a little game. <laughs> See, he then pulled a small white ball out of his pocket. He told me that if I could correctly guess where the white ball was three times in a row, that I would win the bowl full of margarita. A pretty good bet. We're going to try that game right now with you. You see the ball and the bowl. The ball could either be inside the bowl or under the bowl. Or it could be inside my pocket. Really only two choices, either under the ball or inside the pocket. So, round one, the ball did not go under the ball. The ball was placed inside of his pocket, only inside the pocket. But I guessed underneath the ball. That was right. So round two, I was watching much more carefully this time. He took that white ball. He did not put it inside the ball. He put the ball inside the pocket like that. Now, sir, here from Australia, where would the, where the ball be now? Under the ball or in the pocket? Where do you think? Under the ball or in the pocket? The pocket, no! It always ends up underneath the ball. I mean, it's as if this guy could do this over and over again all afternoon. He was very good. He said they would take that white ball. He would place it inside the pocket and it would end up underneath the ball. He would take that white ball. He would put it inside the pocket and it ends up underneath the ball. He would take the white ball. He would put it inside the pocket and it ends up underneath. Remember where? The ball.
indicated by O. And actually, I pulled a sheet down from the line in the backyard like this. And I put a couple of holes into a cardboard box like that. And just for those that don't believe magicians, which you shouldn't, it's simply a cardboard box. And I placed the box and created a little bit of space. <coughs> and in that backyard that afternoon on Halloween, I dreamt that I was an astronaut. I didn't need the outfit. I just needed to believe. With a little bit of imagination and a little bit of creativity and things lying around the house. See through the bottom of this. I thought they dreamt what could be possible to actually feel like an astronaut. I began to believe, to really believe that I was an astronaut. You know what it would feel like to be weightless in space. And it began to happen. I began to actually feel weightless, as if I was in outer space as well. From all the way up, I began to feel completely weightless, and a little kid there in my backyard. My mother called and said, it's time to come down, it's time to come in for dinner. So I did, I ended that imaginative afternoon back down to earth and showed my foot and showed that it all could be done with some things from the backyard, a simple thoughts, a little bit of imagination. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Patrick Ludwig Stone. Uh, I really